We're not. I think it's just where we got a new system, so I'll have to wait and see what everybody tells me. That was a little chaotic. That's a whole hour that time. Ew, it's always fun. We don't know if we're streaming or not. That was fucked up. Sorry. We don't know if we're streaming or not. I gotta frig around with this shit again tonight. Sorry, folks. And uh, last night, power went out. I get rid of that. Okay, looks like I'm in the picture again. <laughs> that thing straight. Let's get this nice and straight. It'll pick up the light a lot better. But my stream was saying it wasn't going to stream. And I went in and set everything again. I'll come down and get the comments up. I plus one up. I'm going to open it up in this window here. And we get down to business. Hopefully I'm streaming. My goodness, crazy. Some crazy, crazy stuff. It's all quite mad. Body mad. Hang on, it brings up my page. Are you there? Are you there? Are you there? Uh, uh, uh. Looks like I'm there. I'll come back and wait for the comments to pop up. Hello, everybody! <laughs> she was a howling in a windy, blowy night last night. And after about an hour and a half, no heat, no tea. I got under the blankets and then I woke up. And the power was on, so I was like... Uh, and a few minutes later, I come to my senses when I had a cup of tea in my hand. I said, I better leave a comment. Cause so when I opened up the comment, here was 2,300 plus comments. You folks were still going at it. <laughs> I feel bad now stopping the stream. I should have just left it going. And uh, that was so, <laughs> I mean, you're right. It's so sad that we do have to worry that stuff can happen. Much better. We are and sounds good. Streaming, looking at your gut. <laughs> <laughs> hey Stacy, Sergeant, Elizabeth, Lisa, Sam, uh, Moments Nothing More, Bubba, Starlight, Sergeant, Stephen, Raw Foods, Bob, yeah, uh, Kate, sorry to hear about your puppy, Kate, and Reram, 2012 Maya, Castle Moms, we got a lot on the live stream if people don't know what I'm doing, to the left of the comments during the live stream, you can participate in the comments section. Well, last night was 2,300 comments. The live stream before that was 1,500 comments. And so there's always a whole lot going on there. It's a great, it's a spot where you will find other people are paying attention to. Hi, Laurel. 2,300 comments last night, Sergeant. Isn't that shocking how that don't show up? Write the numbers till like uh, 48 hours later. The numbers will actually show up for how many comments are underneath the video. With 2,300 comments. My goodness. That's impressive. That's outstanding. <laughs> Must frighten the living shit right out of those people. <laughs> that alone is worth it. I mean, they can't even come in and spam us because we just bludgeon them right off the page. And somebody spammed all my videos, put a lot of time into it. And they're like, no melt, uh, what was it they're saying? Hang on. Some of you replied to it, but I had to remove it because it's such a blatant lie. What am I supposed to do? I can't just leave it there. I got so much open. Let me see if I can find it really quick. That was some funny stuff. Uh, Sean Smith. And Sean Smith is banana man. What the hell is going on here? There is no meltdown in any of the four reactors as of this date. Big exclamation marks. No physical material is left to containment vessel. <laughs> How do you argue with somebody like that, that thinks like that, that acts like that, and that talks like that? 
How do you respond to somebody like that? You know how I do it? I go, <laughs> banned from this channel. <laughs> You're just too friggin' stupid to argue with. I don't mind stupid people. I was stupid. Hi, Aqua. Stacy, Solar Max. Where are the red dolls? Oh, I was measuring it out. Because uh, I got a 42 inch uh, big screen TV there I don't use. It's got, actually got a lot of dust on it, surprising. I'll send that off to get it analyzed. And um, we were trying to put it up here today. And so we come up with another idea how to make it work. It'd be nice if we just cut a hole in the wall, maybe and insert it into the hole in the wall and then have it tilting down and that way the glare won't affect you folks right it won't affect the little camera screeny chingy chummy tingy dear and what that means is of course is i can have thousands of my videos and thousands of my headlines and so i'll just number everything so that they all stay together and in sequences so there's a story about building three i'll take one of the one of the pictures of actual building three from Fukushima with all the damage and have it there. And I could even, yeah, so there's a lot there I can do with that one. Without having to go in and try to render everything. Without, But in the near future, I will have the software where I'll be able to import that all directly into the stream. But you got to realize how much work everything is. And how can you do any kind of research? How can you, you know, get things done if I'm always worried about the presentation or how people think about me or, or anything like that. You know, I can't accomplish anything if I go down that path. So what I do is I research and then I share with everybody. And because, uh, hi Aviator, because we got, uh, we've been doing this so long, you know, I've become very fond of you folks, obviously. And uh, we are, I think we are making the biggest difference imaginable. Uh, and I, you know how I always say we, because that's the important part here. 100% is it's we. Make no mistake about it. Even in your dark days, it is we. Right? I, that's what keeps me going every day. It's we. See? And I'm just one person. And I learn off all the yous. Uh, unlike Japan's government, they murder their citizens. They don't learn nothing off their citizens, uh, well, they learn how to manipulate them and enslave them and then poison them and irradiate them and how to uh, lie about that and how to marginalize that. And that's a serious uh, flaw now that in a democratic country, they became tyrannical for a corporation, for the nuclear industrial military operations means uh, as a society uh, we are finished anyway even without the radiation that we have allowed our society to send the most vulnerable the homeless the mentally retarded the the most uh, marginalized of our society into the bowels of hell to do scientists work is an abomination that we can never scratch out of our history books and out you know, we have to hang our heads every day in shame and humiliation that that is allowed to happen every day. And that that actually happened at this day and age. In a day of, in a day and an age where we have 4,800 peer review studies every day that can be directed to deal with this, we chose the most marginalized of our society to do the dirty work unknowingly because that's why we chose them because they don't know any better. You know better. Two billion people on this planet is connected. The rest of them have no concept. And so we're obligated to do our best. That's all we can do, right? Well, we can do a lot. We can, the truth is a very, very, very powerful, affectionate machine. It wears down the opposition in a hurry. They can't deal with it, the truth. And they can help exasperate the lies because that's what they're, that's the only thing they can do, right? They can't do the honorable thing. And Japan has chosen that road not to do the honorable thing. And Russia evacuated 6,500, 7,500 communities back in the late 40s. 
permanently. 9,000 square kilometers evacuated permanently because they had the moral obligation back then. They knew what it was like to be, to work every day, to toil every day because nobody was able to escape that back then. Now they steal your assets and your infrastructure and your natural resources away from and victimize the most marginalized of society right around this world to use to make their weapons and they get some easy money and uh, then their inbreeds take over, then their inbreeds took over they passed it on because they knew how unethical it was but when you raise a child up in that environment and you with a golden spoon it's easy for them not to understand and that's what I mean, you know, people are so compartmentalized Um, I got no idea what Tim LaRock is trying to say, but and so Japan has reached the lowest point of the human race in an advanced society. That kind of mentality can only exist uh, because we got, you know, the absolute worst people imaginable in charge, the, the most despicable, heartless, cold, the most uh, useless of society has managed to infiltrate the top of the system on, on purpose. That was done on purpose anyway, after being bombed, of course, in 45 by in Nagasaki and Hiroshima, the Americans allowed the system to destroy itself in order for them to be able to hold on to it. So they put the worst of the worst in charge, which is typical. They do that in every war anyway. And they turn it into a democracy with that, but kept that kind of leadership of the most despicable forms of life. And they have no kind of, um, no honor, right? Japan has no honor. The citizens have a lot of honor, don't get me wrong, but Japan's uh, government and ruling uh, monsters don't have any honor. They don't even try. They let those children walk through the death plumes day after day. Originally, they did tell people to stay indoors the first couple of days in the Fukushima prefecture, but they stopped doing that. Right, so they changed their minds. And they've done that to us in Canada, and they've done it to the Americans and everybody else. And this is really, um, this is a changing point. We're up against cowards. And people that are ashamed, and hum you know, of what they've done. They are ashamed of what they've done. They know what they've done. I don't know how they sleep at night. I wish, I hope they don't. I hope they're, every night is long for them. And painful. I hope, that's what I really truly hope all the time, that they have a miserable night. Because I sleep like a baby. I sleep like a rock. Uh, uh, it's unbelievable how good I can sleep. I'm blessed. But I don't usually sleep more than five, six hours, and I'm back at this again. And I'm not troubled by what I'm doing, I'm not, and I'm not gratified by what I'm doing either. I'm driven by what I do, because I realize that the truth is so rare. That's why I'm probably here every night, is because I look all day, and I realize, well, you got to go back out tonight, Dan, and no one's got anything out there to pick at. And that's so wrong, and they need that. They gotta have it. And the only way we're actually gonna do it is we just keep going. Every day we get more better, more educated, more camaraderie, and uh, more righteousness, and more uh, validated, right? And becoming more articulate. And just that one more new person each day, if that's what it takes. Because at some point you reach the breaking point and that's when you win. We win every time anyway at this stage. Because we don't lie and we don't fabricate. We don't have to. There's no need to. There's nothing to be gained by that. And that... You know, these headlines... <coughs> excuse me. This is serious stuff. Massive radioactive release of Fukushima going on for almost three years now. The visible steam, just the tip of the iceberg. That's the radiation coming out and meeting the colder air. 
is super hot and super energized and is chewing off all of these particles so it creates this uh, vapor. I call it vapor, not steam, but it's vapor. And we see radiation from Fukushima in the soil in Southern California. Especially the desert region, regions, high concentration in seaweed, right? We done that the other night. That was January the 5th, 2013. Um, hang on a second here. There you go. You know, all these typhoons that converge up on Japan. And they don't warn people about all the isotopes getting liberated every day. The entire country is, is destroyed. That whole country has to be abandoned. It's a nuclear dump. It's a nuclear waste site. But some places are worse. And those places were supposed to be evacuated, and they will be in the future. But those, and, and that's the problem, that's the point of why we're here tonight, again, with this particular story, is that some of these places in Japan, like Russia, 7,500 communities, uh, were evacuated 9,000 square miles permanently, but Japan doesn't do that. You know, that's arrogance. That's the ultimate in arrogance and cowardice. This is the, the most unforgivable thing that you could do to the planet Earth itself, but to do it to your own people, to do it to your own family, to do it to your own friends, your own loved ones, to do it to your childhood friends, and all the dear loved ones. And just pretend because a handful of people control or trying to control this and keep control of their power. They want power. Money don't mean nothing to this handful of people up the ladder at Japan, at TEPCO, at the very top peoples, the General Electric and everybody else. It truly doesn't. They, that's all they do all day is make weapons of mass destruction. And they're not made... Um, without the knowledge that they kill all the time, constantly, endlessly. And as a society, how can we ever have any kind of a future if we don't get rid of those creatures, those monsters, those freaks, those traitors, those ultimately mass-murdering, hideous monsters? That's, that's all you can really call them. The ruling elite... The people who are responsible in the government positions that know better, that know better. How can they drive down the road looking at all the people they, they're murdering? Even though they didn't die today in the morrow, they'll be dying of their uh, cover-ups. I mean, you got the links below to the FOIA, to the email plume gate. Alex Jones put up a video of plume gate and doesn't even mention the emails. Millions of emails, you don't even friggin' mention it? I'll get to that in another week or so when Jakari makes his march across America on the run. Doesn't even slow down. Send him here, send him there, skip Seattle, go somewhere else. Ah, it's right on. Ah. I'm going to cover all that something else. Once this is all said and done, they got their verdict. I'm looking forward to that one. Keep my mouth shut basically till then. I know we're magic. Hey, buddy. Yeah, that's a lot of problems, man. It's hard to get these streams. Holy cow. And I don't give anybody any warning. I don't have any kind of anything set up to help anybody. It's just me. I'm here every night, and so are you. You manage to find me, you folks. And we do it each night. We're doing what we do. That's all we can do, I guess. Government report Fukushima ozone plume hit the Canada six months ago. Right, does, you know, do uh, the, the naysayers out to think that went away or something? That these government studies, if the government says, oh, there's no, no worry, they all say, see, told ya. But the government study says there's a plume was here six months ago, they say, you have conspiracy theory. So anybody that does that is extraordinarily stupid and naive and or a PR firm. And these people are mass murdering everybody. And that's really gotten under my skin in a whole new way where I have an absolute hate on for these monsters. I truly friggin' hate these monsters that are out murdering people in the comment sections, in advertisements, at lectures. 
the pundits in TV, the the hosts that are so stupid that these are this when you know when news tells you something and you don't fact check it. Why would you ever go back to CNN? Why would you ever go back to Fox News ever? Why would you ever go back to that kind of media when they don't even bother to fact check? If you don't do it once, they do it all the time. When I was younger, that's what they'd done. They had no choice. They were under great scrutiny because we didn't have the internet and we didn't have TV. We had dictionaries and encyclopedias. Uh, and people would switch off. People would switch off. That was the worst thing that could happen to them. People would make up their own minds. Now that you have so much, they all do the same thing. We got a troll sitting around in here? Surely the goodness can't be somebody out there that don't think, that think that uh, everything is okay, that one, reactors 1, 2, and 3, that are 100% meltdowns, is no big deal. They should go out and check all the, all the media out there. It's hard to believe that people exist like that, so nobody could actually be that stupid, even though that's not true. I do know people in my own life that are actually that stupid. They're actually that fucking stupid that they believe reactors 1, 2, and 3 haven't melted down. There really, truly are people out there like that, so. The end of the fear monger, and that's probably one of them there, though. Wouldn't surprise me. That one sounds more like the troll from uh, Shithead Land we had there a few nights back. The big problem you got to realize is Reactor 1, 2, and 3. And I put the links below for everybody, the peer review studies below for everybody. But this one here is too stupid to read all of that. That's the funny part about this. Is you put all the information there for them and they're actually too stupid to sit there and read it. They're too stupid to absorb it. Or they're a PR firm. But I mean, this is this is um, this is the annual meeting, October the fifteenth, two thousand and thirteen, Fisheries and Oceans Canada, Fukushima ocean plume hit Canada six months ago. Proceeds model prediction by several years, and human health is the first reason listed for that study. And I got the other study down there from Health Canada underneath the video where we got the graphs and the PDF files right out of Health Canada. And they showed that the entire coastline of British Columbia was covered in radioactive buckyballs. They're not going to go anywhere. Cesium doesn't go anywhere. The reactors are made out of plutonium and uranium. And so that's not going to go anywhere. Right? That's not like iodine 131, which lasts for seven days. Uh, that's got nothing to do with a nuclear reactor, only it's a byproduct of some of the isotopes. And so the people that would attack me with Dana's a fear mongering, they should attack me with uh, Dana made a mistake here, Dana mis made a mistake there if they wanted to be effective. So that's just an attack upon me. You know, because they, wanted, they won't argue my facts. They're, not in, they're completely incapable of even comprehending the facts. They can't even understand that there's actually three melted reactors. There's actually people like that on this planet that have no concept yeah, uranium is in the seawater naturally. What's that got to do with this conversation? That's got nothing to do with uh, military industrial weaponized isotopes. Do you understand the difference between natural uranium? Do you, that's where you, you know, it's got nothing to do. There's natural uranium everywhere on this planet. In bananas, it's in the table, it's in this cloth, it's in my skin, it's in your body. But that's got nothing to do with a weaponized isotope, you fucking idiot. Oh my Jesus, how stupid are you to come in and say something like that? What the fuck has natural uranium got to do with a weaponized uranium to use? Do you know? Do you even know what you're fucking talking about? Get the fuck out of here. What a fucking idiot. <laughs> uranium in seawater is natural. Grow up. How can you be that stupid and have be able to use a computer? What are you, mentally friggin' ill or something? We're here talking about weaponized isotopes. If you're not going to be serious, I'm just going to block you. I don't care about Dana the fearmonger and shit. But you're going to try to tell me about radiation in water, natural radiation, got something to fucking do with isotopes. Do you know anything about nuclear reactors, you idiot? Why do they hire PR firms like you? I thought you were supposed to have some kind of intelligence. Why would you come on this stream here and say something like that? That natural rainwater or natural rocks or bananas got something to do 
with uranium-234 and uranium-235. Do you even know what those isotopes are? You friggin' dummy. You moron. You dipstick. You stupidest person on the planet. How can you come in and say natural uranium got something to do with reactors? You fucking idiot. Get the fuck out of here. You stupid moron. You stupid. You fucking dummy. If you're in an apartment building, jump. Do the world a fucking favor and jump. Don't come to these conversations and talk about natural uranium to fucking me. 80 shows. And you can't pick something up where I made a mistake and come after me? You gotta come talk to me about natural uranium? How can you be that stupid? How can you be that ignorant? What kind of moron are you? Why you gotta hide away like a coward? Why the fuck did you gotta do shit like that? Why can't you come here with a logical answer and say you made a mistake here, Dana, or you made a mistake there? How can you bring natural uranium into this conversation? How the fuck can you do that? You piss me off tonight. How can you fucking put that in the conversation is what I want to know. Answer me. I'm waiting. What the fuck is natural radiation got to do with radiation that can murder you in one second? That a piece of that radiation that I'm talking about, if I put it in this room, I couldn't even finish the sentence. If I put it in your home, it'll kill you and all your loved ones before you can fucking turn a light on. It'll kill everybody in a school in an hour, every hour. What the fuck has that got to do with radiation in the ocean? What? I'm yelling at you. Get back here. Is that it? You're going to say, are you a faggot little boy? Is that your answer? Is that your counter argument? That's a counter argument. Are you a faggot? What the fuck does that mean? You're a coward. You're a coward. You hide away. Do I hide away? Chop my video up, find something that made a lie, and attack me that way. At least do something like that. But to come in, Dana the Fearmonger, are you a faggot? That's your counter argument. This is what I gotta put up with all the time in the comment sections all over my fucking videos. It's people that are so stupid that they gotta resort to calling me names, that they can't debate a single fucking video in almost 90 days, not one. Not one of my videos. And I sit here at the same time as I talk about fisheries and oceans, Canada, and they're going to come in and say natural uranium from the ocean. You fucking dummy. My goodness, boy. Girl. You're probably a fucking girl. Right? You're one of those PR little bitches sucking your boss's dick all the time looking for fucking overtime. Well, your husband's horror and his ass down on fucking Los Angeles Boulevard sucking up the bully, the buckyballs, the real ones, the big ones. You're a disgusting fucking freak is what you were. It's pathetic that someone like you would actually come to this stream and talk about natural uranium in a real conversation. Who the fuck do you think you were? You coward. You fucking coward. You degenerate fucking coward. I fucking love you pissing me off like that tonight. Because that's what I thrive on is little maggots like you, little parasitic monsters like you, little creatures like you. I gotta hide away like a fucking coward because you're a coward. That's why you were, that's why you were at the raping when you were young. Because you're a coward. You're a monster. Who's not smart enough to take anything I say and then try to use it to fuck me up. No, just come call me names, because you're a dummy. You're too stupid probably to tie your own shoelaces. Fucking piss me off tonight. You're a fucking idiot. Where are you two? Get back here. Let me hear your fucking arguments, you little maggot. The fuck do you think I got on this site, you little maggot? What do you think I do on this site? It's all research. It's all peer review study. You think I'm going to sit and talk about CNN and Fox fucking news? Stupid. You useless fucking maggot boy. 
Well, tomorrow night's show and the night after is about PR firms. Big time. Scumbags of the earth, boy. You can't argue, you can't debate. In fact, all you can do is come in and attack me personally and physically. Yeah, you're in desperate fucking straits now, aren't you? But you gotta do shit like that. You gotta do desperate shit. I don't fear anybody, I'm telling the truth. How the fuck is me talking about fisheries and oceans Canada saying the ocean plume hit six months ago fear fucking mongering? How is it me using peer review academic studies from the institutions all over the planet, from AP and the New York Times and Reuters and all the other dummies, the lawyers, the fucking mass murderers, repeating the same stuff, the truth once in a while? One Fukushima may destroy the whole country. The collapse of a whole country is possible. Fear mongering. You ain't seen nothing yet. You ain't seen Jack. I got a couple of hundred headlines to get through over the next few days. Then I'm going to show you some fucking fear mongering. <laughs> you got no idea what's coming for you fuckers. PR firms. You know, Gunderson said back on December 20, 2013, a real apocalyptic thing would be an earthquake at Fukushima. And now that's an interesting thing. December 20th. Because October the 25th, 2013, they had a 7.6 earthquake. And they shut down the friggin' internet. There was a blackout. And martial law was implemented. And we don't know what happened. Where that 7.6 was situated right off of Fukushima. That was the the center of the earthquake. And a 7.6 is not a small earthquake. And so at a minimum, lots of those rods hanging around those collapsed buildings would have fell down on top of the hot coriums, And they would have aerosoled. And a little piece this big, a little piece this big, a gram of it, the size of a dime, will produce more radioactive atoms and buckyballs with the salt water than all the grains of sands on all the beaches on the planet. So when you put that into the ear and it gets into the jet stream and 48 hours later it lands on your coastline, do you think it really goes away? Do you think, oh, well, it was here that day and then it went away? No, of course not. It can never go away. The uranium and plutonium, well, the uranium is uh, 4.5 billion years before it disintegrates to another radioactive isotope for 2.25 billion years. And this kind of uranium is 235 and 234. It's got nothing to do with bananas. And I've made videos about that to break it down. And a lot of people like me out there. You know, it's really... It's really um, surprising that there's a troll left on this planet, on this site. I mean, they must be pretty friggin' desperate to, to get me and enrage me, because... It takes me days to get this out of my system. So I'll rage tomorrow night and the night after about PR firms. That'll be the title of my video, Nuclear PR Firms. And, you know, that's just the way it's going to be. I'll do it every night for a week. After I get through my headlines, actually. I'm going to get through all my headlines uh, over the next few days. Come hell or high water, I'm getting through those suckers. And um, that's when the fun begins, once I get through the couple of hundred headlines that I want to get through, because they're from March and April of 2011. And look, the reason they're so important to me, and they should be important to you, is pretty straightforward, is when that happened, the, the tsunami and the earthquake, how many tweets was there a minute, an hour? How many Facebook posts? How many newscast stories? Hundreds of millions right around this planet. This was huge. A tsunami had just wiped out thousands in Japan. It's huge. And so these stories got buried, right? They got buried. And when the damage finally came out six days later, well, two days later, we knew there was melter reactors one and two, complete meltdowns. And you can't deny that if you go to the links below the video. I apologize for screaming. Come on, Danny, you can't read. I posted on your videos all your fuckers. Have you seen the post, the real info? Shut up, man. I can't believe you actually came back. That's unbelievable. We have the links. They're underneath my video, right? I mean, um, 
These are peer review academic studies that we talk about every single night. And not just one, or not just two, but hundreds. And he wants you, or it wants you, this PR firm wants you to go read um, their own little uh, paid for nuclear pro PR firm. And that's really a um, Santatic at best, right? Hang on. Santanic. That's what this one here tonight is. No plumes fucking hit Canada? You've got to be borderline the stupidest person on the planet to even try to suggest that. You truly are the stupidest person. They don't get any stupider than this. And that's what I mean. You're up against some really stupid people. Just ignorant. Or they're paid, one or the other. But anybody that's persistent like that, they're probably paid. But, I mean, how stupid do you actually have to be to, to, to think that way and be angry enough? You have to be pretty stupid. So I can't imagine anybody that stupid. So that's why I always say PR firms. And they're working. They're doing their numbers, right, to keep me off subject. Nuclear engineer, full assembly, damage at Fukushima Uniforts, bent in shape of banana. Unknown if pellets poured into the pool during removal. That was uh, December 19, 2013. See, they keep lying. And like we covered the other night, you know, that, that unit blew up. We got all the pictures. You can download them yourself from underneath this video from TEPCO's website. And so it's no good for a PR firm to tell anybody... If you go below my video to TEPCO's website itself, there's 2,136 pictures there, and you'll see them in packages. Look for Unit 4, download those packets, and go look at the building, and you tell me, right? You can't look at the pictures and say nothing happened. And for someone to say there's no plumes hitting the coastline, that's pretty stupid. I mean, we got all the government models. We got the government models from Canada below. You have to be a total moron to say something like that. That's the most idiotic thing imaginable. And so that has to be a nuclear PR firm that is out trying to control, you know, contain its image. Because somebody would have to be literally the stupidest person on the planet to believe that the plumes didn't hit our countries. That's idiotic. Um, it's a gull extraordinarily gullible, I guess. Maybe. There is a few people. But they wouldn't be on my video doing what they're doing tonight. Nobody would have be that maniacal that they would come to a video and harass me with gross named accounts just because they're angry. So that's a PR firm. I mean, there could be stupid people out there. I don't know if I've ever met anybody that stupid, but I'm sure there's probably somebody out there, but I don't think they would be able to use a computer. So that's a PR firm. And once again, they've done a good job. They distracted us here tonight. And he wasted time, had me screaming, which is okay, I guess, once in a while. Fukushima is increasingly critical due to the decay of the building. The reactor blocks are sinking. The alarming cracks in the foundation. It was built, built already very poorly, um, and we covered the history of that site. That was Berkeley City of Council meeting, where the city of Berkeley now has passed a resolution to inform the population about the radiation from Fukushima. So that's... That's the first one in the United States. But the nuclear industry, I mean, it's, very, it's a very powerful industry. There's two million products out there that use radiation. This is how much they shoved it down everybody's throat. And a microwave oven, for instance, that destroys around 84% of nutrition in your food. It's the worst thing you could ever do to a food is irradiated in a microwave oven. It's actually a microwave oven. It's a different type of radiation, but nevertheless, it's a radiation. And it actually destroys, they've seen the studies where it destroys 84% of the nutrients in your food. And so they proliferated it into stuff like um, stuff like your, your uh, fire detectors, your smoke alarms. Right? They just assimilate it into everybody's life. But they don't say, hey, you got to get rid of that on a radioactive uh, waste site. And they just keep that... Um, yeah, they just keep making up accounts and attacking you because... They're desperate at this stage, right? Anything, anything.
I got no idea, you know, what you would say to people that are that, that mentally ill. Raw food for my life. Then I wake up all night, but you don't make shit because you are a troll and too stupid. I got no idea, you know. Okay, here we go. Can't get rid of the trolls, so just bury them in the comments, folks. Radioactive plumes are always coming out of Fukushima Unit 3. That was Gunderson. Gunderson had 70 nuclear power plant contracts. He's an expert. And uh, that's just one of many people telling that story. Radioactive plumes are always coming out of Fukushima Unit 3. Water is not getting the hot spots. Well, it can't because it's 9,000 degree Fahrenheit. How can the water get to it, right? And once again, the rods, when you have earthquakes, the rods all around that. And the people that are, are attacking me, they're, 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 inco they're incapable of going and downloading the, the pictures and saying, yeah, Dana, you know, you're right, those buildings are destroyed. They want to come in and fabricate it and attack me and enrage me. Which is okay once in a while. It's a bit of entertainment. Keeps people entertained. I don't mind screaming once in a while because that enrages me. You're hoping you can just talk to these people for a second. Doing the same thing they're doing? Doesn't work. You just feed into them, right? Fukushima cores melted through the containment vessels. January the 3rd, 2014. Coast is accumulating radioactive material. The entire ocean is filling up with radiation. Everybody knows that. Nobody can deny that. Only a PR firm. That's a desperate. They're desperate. And you'll see links below in my video that where I broke down, I added links today because of the trolls, to two videos that I produced that can't be debunked, showing how the Philippines was destroyed by radiation, created the super typhoons, and that's 200 mile winds, and that story is below. And also, units 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, there's a 20 minute video down there, and the trolls showed up on that today, and just... They just copy and paste on the same thing on all of my videos. Not like they're trying to argue. They're just copy and pasting. So they're, they're in desperate heart attack mode if they think that's... Uh, top nuclear Russian official. Fukushima catastrophic catastrophe matches our worst case scenario. Radiation release thought to be 500 times higher than they calculated. And those calcula calculations... Uh, you can go over to E&E News, you can find them. All kinds, just type in study and reports and professors and stuff like that and you'll find all the studies, all the peer reviews you'll ever want from all the major institutions around the planet. So, insider in charge of monitoring radiation at uh, TMI says radiation, uh, radioactive releases was hundreds of thousands of times higher than the government admitted. Uh, Institute of uh, Southern Studies by Sue Sturgis, April 3rd. Um, July 25th, 2011. Japan officials run away from public during meeting about radiation. Uh, you know, like they know. They know what they're doing and the people that are paid to go out and lie... You know, it takes a lot of balls to go out and lie, and every once in a while they'll find people like us that'll just scream back. Radiation fallout poses the greatest threat. July 25th, 2011. Uh, Bloomberg. The uh, Asia English News, Arian, July the 12th, 2011. Shock cow meat with high levels of radiation now circulating all over Japan. Radioactive ash at 7,000 plus, 70,000 becquerels found near Tokyo. That's mad, see? Because you got ash where they burnt, they burnt nuclear, you know, waste. All nuclear waste is supposed to be in a, in a sarcophagus till the end of time. But they can't build that. They put it in 45 gallon drums and dump it into your ocean. They take the byproducts of the weaponized products and put it in bullets and fire it into impoverished people's countries at a phenomenal rate. 
Feds accused of failing to keep public informed of radiation from Fukushima. That was at King 5, July 11, 2001. The feds were accused of failing to keep the public informed. Well, he made it a national security law. He made it a national security law. TEPCO, concealed radiation data before explosion at number three workers. At number three, um, workers not informed at extremely high levels of radiation. They took the most vulnerable and vul uh, in society, the mentally retarded, and brought them in and made them work on the nuclear waste uh, catastrophic site where there's three melter reactors where there should only be robots and just kept them there. Remember what they've done in Chernobyl where people got 15 seconds and then they went home and never went on the radiation site again. The crazy, disgusting, perverted Japanese, they're taking the homeless and putting them in there all day, day in, day out, locking them in sheds. Just despicable people. They're despicable. I mean, we, you know, we should bomb the shit out of them again. They're fucking disgusting people, boy. But you can't, you know, but you're going to get all the civilians, right? But the government and TEFCO and people like that, they're fucking disgusting. Just degenerate. The most degenerate. You wouldn't want to be living on the same street as these people. Yeah, that, that, that's pretty gross if you live on the same street as a government official or in the same apartment building. Like, I would have extra locks on my door. I'd be worried all the time if I had kids. Because these are serious monsters we're talking about. Absolutely terrible, inconceivable monsters. I know we're magic. I <laughs> know we're magic. Going all Japanese. Um, wake up all night, bud. What the fuck, man? I swear you get stupider with each fucking uh, fake troll account you make. You sound stupider, you look stupider, you sound stupider. Every time you put a comment there, you're just a little bit more dumb. I can't believe people like you actually exist, but there you are. Let me keep going, I'll check the time. The troll won the night. Troll beat us tonight, got me to rage. That's not very fucking cool. 47 minutes. That's just the way it is, right? Yeah. I got 60 examples here from nuclear scientists, from peer review academic studies. You, you have to be totally stupid to even think that radiation is not dangerous. Surely the fuck you can't be that stupid. But you are. I mean, that's, that's your idea. I'll come in after I remove all your comments. So thanks for all your hard work, but I'm going to fucking remove every one of them because you're just outright outrageous, blatant lies and then trying to use ghost account names with my name to attack me. I'm going to report your IP address anyway to a few friends of mine. I'm getting to the bottom of you. I'm tired of you. Your fucking time is over as far as I'm concerned. And so... Um, I'm going to find out where your IP address is. That's a fact. Very soon. And who owns it? Who fucking pays the bills on it? And if I catch this, if I find out you're a PR firm, and I fucking will too, or I find out you're just some stupid idiot out there, I'm fucking going to rag your ass right here live. Make no mistake about it. You're getting under my nerves now. TEPCO concealed radiation data. Why would it conceal all the radiation datas? Why would it conceal all the radiation numbers? Why was there 5,000 TEFCO workers admitted to hospital with radiation from ingesting it? Why are all the world trying to... Why does the NRA, the nuclear regulatory agencies, have uh, these stringent licenses for nuclear power plants if the isotopes are not harmful, if the radiation is safe? You know, Where's your logic in your fucking argument? Why don't you go back to making accounts... Uh, where you just call me names, Dana's a faggot shit. At least that makes sense, because there are some really stupid people out there. But if you think we're going to, like, take a handful of pro-nuclear, pro-nuclear, you dummy. Do you got any idea how many pro-nuclear fuckers are out there? We don't care about them. We're talking about the headlines. Come back on the day when we talk about that shit. Tonight we're talking about the headlines. You retarded friggin' monkey. I mean, a PR firm's got to be the stupidest people on the planet, the most desperate on the planet. 
It's just pathetic that they do stuff like that. Yeah, sometimes you got to vent pit, love. I mean, but it's so stupid for a PR firm to come to my videos because that's just going to piss me off for days and weeks at a time. And I'm going to rag on them in every video for at least a week now. Man dies after collapsing while working at Fukushima. I put on a full protective suit. Why did he put on a full protective suit for? They're a dummy? If it's not bad. If radiation is not bad, why do we have all the Hollywood fucking movies? You retarded freaking monkey. I hate people like you that are so cowards. You can't even make a video and come out like all I'm doing. And say, well, Dana, you know, you're wrong because of this. Why can't you do what I'm doing? Why do you got to show up and do shit like that and spam all my videos? Why can't you just make a video like a normal human being, like I do, where I'll make a video and I'll lay out my points. I don't hide away like a coward and make up ghost accounts to attack my name. Like, what kind of fucking idiot are you? What kind of coward are you, really, truly? Think about it. How the fuck do you sleep at night when you do stuff like that? Why would you do stuff like that? You got no credibility. I got the credibility because I don't hide away. Because I tell you the headlines. I tell you the date. I tell you the papers. This is real. I've been at this a lot longer than you. I don't speak in ghost accounts either. I don't have to hide away. I don't have to pretend I'm a coward. Well, I'm just saying, you know, like the trolls that will come in and spam this nonsense, where are they getting their facts to? Because they heard it somewhere and they think that everybody else must be fucking wrong because it fits into their little paradigm. I mean, this is the same one that's telling us that the, the, the reactors never melted. That there was no melted reactors, none of them. That's the same one. They're saying radiation is also okay. Right? There's no logic to that. You're wasting everybody's fucking time. But I'm going to find you now. You got, me, you got me pissed off tonight. Radiation level's too high for humans to continue at number fucking four. Sorry. March the 15th, 2012. NHK. I suppose they're fucking lying too. Like the Guardian. Like the New York Times. Like all the fucking the peer review studies. They're all lying, but you're right. They're all stupid, but you're right. Like, you're fucking mentally ill, boy. The PR firms, that's their job, is to come here. It's not to have logic or reason. They can't sit here and make a video and say, well, you know, Dana, you made a lot of factual mistakes. And, um, you know, they can't come out like that. They hire fucking idiots will come here and spam you and say, the reactors didn't melt. Like, there's no logic. I can't argue with somebody like that. I can't debate with somebody that can hide away, make accounts, calling me a faggot, Dana's a faggot troll, and then come out and spam my comment section during the live stream with nothing. How am I supposed to argue with something like that? How can you debate somebody like that? They don't want to debate. It's just salacious. The radiation level is too high for humans to continue working at reactor 2 and 3. Not that they were ever in there. You can't get in there. They had detonations. The reactor rods are everywhere. Like, if you don't think it's dangerous, TEPCO is looking for employees. Get the fuck down there, bitch. They'll let you drive the forklift. You'll have her made. You'll be the only guy walking in some places. You can send me videos and say, See, Dana, nothing happened. Because <laughs> that's what will happen to you. You won't get the last sentence out. You'll be... <clears throat> They won't be able to get your body back. If you do it, you got to leave it on the nuclear waste site. Because that's what it is, a toxic waste. You bring in the homeless. Probably the Kuzus, right? Probably paid you to come on or two, or the PR from one and the same. You're disgusting maggots on society. You're the worst thing that ever happened to our society is uh, pro-nuclear. Anybody that's pro-nuclear deserves to be swinging from a telephone pole. Because they're so stupid, nothing can save them, nothing can help them. And ultimately, they will destroy this planet. I mean, you know, I have said before where we might need a nuclear, keep one of the nuclear reactors going, because we'll lose the whole fucking site. Because a lot of people can't understand how fucking dangerous it is. And people are saying, well, Dana Toucher, want to get rid of nuclear power. Well, all I'm saying is if you can build the other power plant there, if you can find someone to fucking work on it, good luck. You go fucking ploy for the job. 
build that coal plant next to them, okay? And then tell me. Because if you lose power there, we we'll lose the fucking planet. And so if we've got to run a reactor until we get a coal plant up running alongside of it, that's good and dandy. You can go down to Russia where they evacuated 7,500 communities, 9,000 square miles, and dig the coal up out of there, if you like. You know where they're coming from. If they run out of power, we're all fucked. Because all the plants will go down on this planet on top of that. That's the ultimate plan. Right? We have a nuclear war on the planet. All the power plants lose power. They all melt down. And then while we're fighting, trying to survive, running out of bullets, the elites are headed off with the technology up into the space stations or on the moon or wherever the fuck it is they're planning on hanging out. It's no good for them to dig into bunkers because we're going to dig them the fuck out of it. If we're shovels, if we got to. Radiation's level, too high for humans. But radiation is not dangerous, Dana. Nearly 3,000 evacuees rushed to the hospital by ambulances from shelters in Fukushima. But radiation is not dangerous, Dana. Japanese Times, May 17, 2011. China Syndrome might just have happened at Fukushima. Time Magazine. But radiation is not dangerous, Dana. You're a fucking fear Dana. Japan's Time article refers to the possibility of fuel melting through containment. Vessels, also known as China Syndrome. March the 18th, the Japanese time. But you're a fear monger, Dana, because you repeated what uh, the noble lord said that Fukushima is adversely affecting neighboring countries. Nobel Prize winner author, March the 18th, 2012. But Dana's a fear monger. Fuckers. Yomishirui, CCM-134. What do you think that comes from, dickhead? Detected in plankton 600 kilometers from Fukushima just three months after the meltdowns. I know you like to say there's no such thing as meltdowns, stupid. But there you go. Um, I'm almost finished. In HK, 1800 plus Beckwell's a kilogram of radioactive cesium, code word plutonium and uranium. And there's natural uranium out there, which I've covered many times. It's got nothing to do with 234. If you had a Dixie cup of natural uranium and a cup of Dix of uh, uranium 234, 235, which one are you going to drink? I'll drink the natural uranium because that's natural water. All water got natural uranium. It's got nothing to do with weaponized uranium. See how to keep the law alive? Then they call the uranium byproducts 238 the daughters. A Dixie, if I had a piece of... 238 this size, I can kill everybody on the planet with that isotopes that it creates by splitting the atoms constantly, endlessly, non-stop. It doesn't stop for 4.5 billion years. Um, but Dana's a shill, Dana's a troll, Dana's a fear because Dana repeated the headlines from all the mainstream academic credible uh, media. But if I don't use the handful of pro-nuclear headlines, that some dickhead wants me to? Dana the Dildo, right? Hasn't got enough common sense to actually come out with a real narrative and can just only attack me through uh, calling me names? It's like bizarre land. You can't really make it up. You just can't make up that people like that exist. And what do they accomplish by that? I mean, they, all they do is get me picking on PR firms more and more. And it's the most um, cowardly way to have a debate or to to even try to, mar you know, uh, counter my arguments. The complete opposite of what you would expect. Right, to come out and say Dana Dildo. No one ever said bananas had the same isotopes as Fukushima, just a comparison to amount of what would be seen on the coast. It's got nothing to do with it, you stupid fucking idiot. You stupid moron. It's got nothing to do with it. A fucking banana beckwall got nothing to do with the radioisotope beckwalls. How fucking stupid are you? Bananas and rocks and ocean, natural, indigenous, uranium, beckwalls is, is the misleading way. That's how they do it. It's got nothing to do with radioisotopes, with radioactive material. What the fuck has that Beckwell got to do with this Beckwell? 
Do you see how hard it is to argue the points when they do that? When they use the words bananas has a natural back wall. But every fucking thing on the planet has natural back walls. That should never be into the equation. That was never meant for the equation. But has been taken advantage of. And this was scripted out by the PR firms. To throw that into the equation. When it has nothing to do with strontium. Nothing to do with cesium. Beck wolves, disintegrations per second. Right? To, to use that as an equation is the stupidest, fucking mindless, dummiest thing imaginable. The people that do that are the most vulnerable dummies in the academic world or PR firms. Like, you have to be borderline retarded to use the Beck wolves from bananas or the Beck wolves from natural water or the Beck wolves from rocks, which shouldn't exist, that those words shouldn't exist. They have nothing to do with it. What the fuck does it have to do with an isotope that will kill you? That if you got enough of it, like a brick the size of this here, it will kill me before I finish the sentence. Bananas, I can fill the room up with bananas, they won't kill me, ever. If I was to fill this room up with just one piece, rather, of this in my room, I can't finish the sentence, I will be dead. And you have to put my body on a nuclear waste site because it's radiating itself. Bananas can't do that. Rocks can't do that. The uranium in the ocean can't do that. And the people that would put that here in the comments section and literally try to argue that with me and use that in the New York Times or anywhere else as part of the equation, right? I'm going to find that IP address. And if I, if I can never find you, I'll break your fucking arm. I'll knock your teeth right out of your fucking mouth if I ever find you, right? I'll cave your fucking head in. Make no mistake about it. My fucking elbow. Because you're a coward. This is real. I'll smash your fucking face if I ever find you. You coward. You fucking dummy. To say something like that to me. You got all your murdering all those people in Japan constantly, all around the world. Destroying the fucking ocean. Totally destroyed it. And you want to come in here and argue these points and you hide away on a ghost account. I'll smash your fucking head if I ever find you. I'll fucking find you at some point, you fucking prick. You coward. Smash you fucking goods yet. I'm going to have your IP address in the next day or two. I'll fucking air your ass out, buddy. I don't give a fuck who you are. I don't give a fuck how many fucking... How many military pieces of equipment you got. Or how much money you got fucking behind you. I'm having your fucking ass. I know fucking people too. I got fucking right on my side. You can't come here and fucking lie like that. And use bananas and use all that shit to attack me. Okay? Doesn't work that way. You're not getting away with it. I'll guarantee fucking to you. Freaky fucking coward. I fucking can't believe people like you exist. How can you be so fucking stupid to use the back rolls from a banana and the back rolls of radioactive isotopes of uranium plutonium? Put a fucking video out, you fucking coward. Put a fucking video out. You're too fucking stupid? No. You're afraid. You gotta hide away. Because that's all you can do. You can't do what I'm doing. See, you can never do what I'm doing. You can never sit here like I'm doing. Because you're a coward. You don't have anything on your side. All you can do is come into salacious accounts and attack me. Which is stupidest fucking arguments imaginable. Hi, Miss Milky. Hi, Nubu Magic. That's a fuck up night. Sorry, folks. Fuck sakes. But it goes to show you, right? Go fuck yourself. Make a fucking. Make a video, mouthpiece. You fucking coward. You fucking traitor. You mass fucking murderer. Shut your fucking yap. I'll have a fucking go with you anytime you fucking want. Unlike you, I don't have to hide away. I ain't a fucking coward. Any useless fucking coward has got to hide away all the time. Anyway, we'll end the night on a screaming match, I guess. Whatever. Whatever. Just, that's the end of the stream, folks. And there's not much you can do. Right? They gotta come in once in a while and drive me into a fucking frenzy.
That's okay. I don't mind. I had to get that out of my system anyway. I appreciate it when you do that. Like to come in and argue with bananas and water is the weakest argument imaginable. To try to equate those Beckwolds with a measurement used for isotopes for nuclear reactors shows you that these are actually truly our monsters. And that actually nobody is that stupid to attack me like that unless they are a PR firm. And so they won the night, that's okay. We won the other 89, and we'll win again tomorrow night. They won in that sense where they got me off track. Uh, but tomorrow night, I'm uh, definitely going to take a collection of my top 50s, just for nostalgic, walk down memory lane for myself, and some other good stuff that I'll find tomorrow, I'm sure. And I know, you know, some people might say Dana's over, losing his mind, crazy man, angry all the time. Uh, whatever and it just gets really frustrating because I thought that trolls knew better than that that's a waste of time to try to use that kind of argument and uh, if they want to throw down I got a fucking problem with that that's not an issue with me I don't fucking fear any of these cowards ever I'll never fear a coward a monster I don't give a fuck if they got a gun at my head I just don't care that's why I'm here every night I don't give a fuck about the blowback I know what the blowback for not speaking out is going to be. So the blowback for speaking out, I already accepted that fate that's coming. I don't give a fuck. But I'm going to make sure that everybody out there is informed and able to carry it on anyway. Because that's just the way it goes. That when you put yourself out, like I do all the time, right? it's, it's going to come at me at some point. And I'm just letting them know that you want to go? Right, fucking try me. Because I'll go with you. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I never backed down from nothing on the fucking planet in my life. Ever. And I spent a lot of time in the ring. And I don't fucking back down. I don't give a fuck. I'll knock you out. If you get in my face. And so that's just the way I am. I'm like that. That's why I succeeded in the things I did. That's why I done the things I did, because I had the energy and the will. I willed myself through it, and that was just the way I was, I guess. That's the way I was brought up to be. Start a job, you finish the fucking job. You don't walk away. And you clean up after. That was something that was ingrained in me at an early age. And so when it comes to trolls, I don't care. I'll be blocking you, and I'll remove all your comments, too. You're gone. That's no big deal. I read the comments after anyway, so all your comments are gone, and you're blocked. And in a day or two, I'll have your IP address. We'll fucking air you out live. Because you're stupid. Or you're a PR firm. But I don't think you can be that stupid, so you got to be a PR firm. <coughs> hey, Sydney. We love you too, buddy. Thanks, Dwayne, Lisa, Stacy, Sam. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Bob, Zuck, Nuda. Ricky, Sticky, Laura, Kurtzer K, Wannabe. Yeah, thanks, folks. Castle Mom, Michael. That was a bit of fun lad. tonight. I enjoyed that. I'm not going to go away feeling angry or mad or upset. I'll come in and remove his comments after just to fuck him over. Lisa, Lori, Broken Ass Oilner, Aviator, um, even a troll, you know. Sergeant, hey, buddy. And not you, of course. Elizabeth, uh, Christopher, thank you, buddy. Uh, Selmel Matt, Dang Tang, you're welcome. Cats Alive, Castle Mom again, Starlight. Stacy again, I'll be always happy to see Stacy keeps. Miss Milky, we got Nuber Magic here tonight. Um, Sydney, Dwayne, Sam. I guess that's all I got that's going to show up on the inside. All right, so we went a little longer night. I raged a few times. We had a few fights. Everything was good. And we'll come back tomorrow night. And like you say, I'm actually feeling better now. I got a bit of that out of my system. Yeah. See you tomorrow night, troll. See you tomorrow night, buddy. What are you looking forward to it? I'm an old man, but I'm still standing my fucking ground. Especially when someone's got a hideaway on a ghost account. Too ashamed to show their face. Fuck you. You're just a coward. See you folks tomorrow night. I'll probably have to sign out twice. Yeah. Good old Google. At least they're reliable anyway. 
Got to sign back in to Google Plus. Sign in. I get to sign out, maybe. Take a few seconds. Oh, well, an hour and ten minutes. That was a good stream. We'll see you folks tomorrow late. Take care.